All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, you. the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Assassin! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Left hand punch from the clinch. Boy, Ty Klump. Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big shots being landed on both sides here. 
Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. All right, he engages in the single collar die. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice jab. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Slips to avoid that left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Rips the body there. Nermago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. And that one certainly found the target. Takedown defense holds up. What a punch. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Goes to the body there. Right hook to the head block. Wow. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. with that right hook. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice body shot there. Oh, nice. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Beautiful counterpunch, really settling in when it comes to his counterattack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Just out of range with the straight left hook. Slips that left hand. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him down. Great balance, great awareness, move the head back inside, turn that double into a single. He's brawled and got away from his opponent. Great job. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, huge block! All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Right on the button. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, good elbow right there. Effective strike there by Nermago Metal. Oh, single collar tie here. Power shot there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Round two next. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. When we sat down with his opponent on Thursday, he believed without a shadow of a doubt that he was going to be able to take his opponent down. That was not the case previously. That is not the case because he understands takedown defense. When you push him against the side of the octagon, his legs are wide, always got an underhook. 
And the moment you give in to escape, whether it's left, whether it's right, you make one mistake, he circles back to the center of the octagon and gives himself the best chance to stay standing. Oh, man, it ain't to Kembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Slips the punch. Oh, nice punch there by Nurmagomedov. And he continues to work the body here. Head strikes. He got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. And they separate. Beautiful. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is there in his motions is. on the mat. Oh! No, that's oh. supposed to an inverted triangle to try to get the finish. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. Done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a reverse triangle. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. But he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish.